Have you ever wanted to put a photograph inside a shape or inside a selection inside of Photoshop? Right now, I'm going to show you three different ways to do that. Hey, Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. And today I'm going to show you three different methods for putting a photograph inside a shape inside of Photoshop. Now, one of the things you may notice is I'm wearing a Photoshop CS2 vintage hat right here. Do you guys know what year Photoshop CS2 came out? I'll give you a second. Year was 2005. To give you an idea of 2005, Microsoft had just launched the Xbox 360 and believe it or not, YouTube was founded in the year 2005. Popular movies, Harry Potter, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Batman Begins, and as far as music artists, the Black Eyed Peas, Usher, Kelly Clarkston, and Hilary Duff were still relevant, and Destiny's Child was still together. All right, let's get on to the tutorial. All right, so here's a shape that I drew. It's just black on white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a photograph, and I'm going to show you the first one. I'm going to just grab this photo from the library and just drag it into our document. All right, so here we go. We have our shape there and we have our photo on top. Method number one, if we're working on a simple background like this, you know, just a black against a white, the quickest way to do this is to just use advanced blending. So what we're gonna do is just go down under effects and we're gonna choose blending options. Now here we go, we have our layer style and we're gonna be using blend if, and we wanna be working on the underlying layer. So we see it's black on white. We want to lose the white, keep the black. So if we take the white and just pull it in, and you can see immediately it just clips it to the shape. Now we can split this arrow for a smoother transition because notice those edges are a little jaggy. Hold down Alt or Option on Mac, grab one side of that triangle and just pull it out. And you'll notice it splits and now we can get a much smoother edge right there. All right, let's have a look at method number two. What we're going to do is turn on our picture layer, hit Control or Command A for all, Command or Control C for copy. So we've copied that into the clipboard. And all we want to do now is we're going to paste it into here. Now I just hit Control D for deselect. And now we want to select just the black areas. So go under Select, Color Range. And notice under here we can choose different colors or we can go down and choose shadows. If you're trying to choose a specific color, choose sampled colors. Otherwise, if we're working on whites or blacks, shadows and highlights. Shadows, click OK. Now we've got a nice selection around there. And all we need to do now is paste into here. So we choose Edit, Paste Special, and now we're gonna be pasting into. So click OK, and notice now what it does is it actually just creates a mask. And a nice thing about working with this mask means that I can move this photo around. So that gives a little bit more flexibility than the first method. But let me show you the third method now, which is my favorite, and that's using clipping groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of this. All right, so let's select this again. So all we need to do is just to select, reselect, and it will pick up the previous selection. If you didn't make that selection, of course, you're just going to use color range. And now I want to copy this to a new layer. So Control or Command J will copy that to a new layer. Let me hide the background and everything. And we can see what we've got there is our shape. Now, this is the best method if you have things on your own layer, such as shapes or text or different things like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the background with white. Alt or Option Backspace to fill it with white and just drag it underneath. And this is just for aesthetics, so it looks nice. Okay, so here's our photo on top. So let's review what we have again. We have a white background that I've created. There's our layer above with transparency. And then our photo on the top. Now what we want to do is put the photo inside that shape. Really easy. Just take the cursor in between the two layers, hold down the Alt or the Option key, and you'll see this little arrow, and then click. And then what that does is it now clips it. So what we've got is a clipping group. 
And of course we have the flexibility. We can move our photo around. See that? You can position it exactly how you want it. And let's do it like that. All right, let's take this just a little bit further just to kind of show you a couple of cool effects that you could do on here. So why don't I select this layer? And what I want to do is just put some kind of a style on here. So I'm going to go into FX and I'm going to choose an inner shadow. And now with the inner shadow effect, we can make it look like it's being cut out. So let's give it a little bit more distance. That makes that cut a little bit deeper. And size, what that's going to do is it's going to just soften that edge and create a soft shadow. So we could increase that distance more. And also if you want that shadow to be stronger, just increase the opacity. And see how it looks like it's being cut out there. To finish up this effect, why don't we put some kind of a texture here on this paper, on the background. So select the white background, go into Filter, choose Filter Gallery, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Texture. Now there's a lot of textures here already, but I'm going to choose Texturizer, and this enables us to choose different types. I kind of like that canvas texture. I'm going to scale it, make it a little bit bigger. The relief will make it stronger or less of an effect, so let's just make it a slight kind of a canvas effect, click OK. And there we go, we're able to create a cool kind of a design. All right, so obviously I'm wearing a Photoshop CS2 hat here. I got a question for you guys. What version of Photoshop did you start on? Let us know in the comments underneath. And if you love Photoshop as much as I do, hit the subscribe button right now and you'll get a new tutorial from me every single week. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you know when I upload, which is every Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, I'm going to be uploading this as quickly as I can. So anyway, guys, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.